What a difference a day makes. Demonstrations and protest here in the city went from this to this overnight. Major changes to contain violence and looting in the city by the NYPD seem to work, starting with the curfew moving up from 11 to 8 p.m. Overwhelmingly, it was a very different reality in New York City last night. A series of strategies were employed yesterday, and those strategies, I think, by and large, were effective. Those strategies include crowd control as protesters cross the Manhattan Bridge, shutting down neighborhoods that are hot spots for looters before they could strike. Chief of Patrol Fausto Pachardo tells PIX11 what's playing out on the streets took the department back to school. We learned from it, and so we deployed different strategies, as you see, with the traffic uh, to make sure that our resources move around a little easier, uh, identifying intelligence. We took those lessons learned, applied them very, very rapidly. It was much better from the police and from the protesters' standpoint. Although not perfect, protesters believe a relationship with police will help keep the message from getting lost in the violence. Communities all across the city are realizing that we understand what we don't have and what we're trying to get. Tuesday, police arrested 280 people, a big difference from about 700 the night before.